Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Mythic Market. Alpha Investment has already kind of covered this topic in the past where you buy shares of, let's say you have a Legends booster box and it's, you can't afford it, it's really expensive. Well, what if you can buy a share of it? And no, I'm not talking about a single booster pack, I'm talking about even less value than that, like a $27 of whatever equivalent that would be of a booster box of legends now the problem i have with this uh, number one i have a problem as someone who owns a marketing agency this is 100 percent a marketing play i don't uh daniel from vintage mtg has already had a discussion i believe it was a private discussion with the ceo of mythic market and you know, about the liquidity of it. There's no way to get your money out. There's only money in. There's no way to get money out. Why is that important? Well, something is only worth what you are willing or you're able to sell it. I've always said this. If Filia, I buy her at two, I have $2 invested in Filia and Filia goes up to 20 until I sell Filia, I haven't made any money. So even though Filia is at 20, I haven't realized my investment. Same thing with Rudy. A lot of you believe that, um, you know, he has a huge collection of Arabian Nights on eBay. But he, he has no intention of selling it, in my opinion, given the price he's uh, set on a lot of his vintage cards. And he has been very open about this. So I am going to read you something. Um, 1994 Booster Boxes 5, a vault of Magic's earliest treasures, and the offering amount is $55,000 at $27.50 a share. There are 80 investors, and these 80 investors have bought a total of 1,256 out of the 2,000 shares, meaning there are 744 left. So you put your money in and there is no way you get it back. So they have a Alpha Black Lotus at $90,000 and the share price is $45, and there's 123 investors, and it sold out. So they definitely are making a ton of money. Uh, they sell vintage comics, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, film, eSports teams, sports memorabilia, and anything else that they want. Now let me read you the uh, fine print, okay? Until such time that the offering statement is qualified by the SEC, no money or consideration is being solicited. And if sent in response prior to qualification, such money will not be accepted. No offer to buy these securities can be accepted and no part of the purchase price can be received until the offering statement is qualified. Any offer may be withdrawn or revoked without obligation or commitment of any kind at any time before notice of its acceptance given after the qualification date. A person's indication of interest involves no obligation commitment of any kind. So it's basically a marketing ploy. And I'm not surprised that LSV and Channel Fireball are all in. Uh, I can see that Daniel Chan liked their Facebook page. He's the only friend of mine that liked it. Uh, they're doing giveaways. Oh, probably not the best thing. Uh, altered giveaways from artist Rev Lens Light. Pretty beautiful Lion's Eye Diamond. I always like Lion's Eye Diamond. That's pretty beautiful. Three hours. So they, they really are grinding. Just one day left to enter MTG Alters giveaway and win a free commission. And they're showing a, like dual lands and things of that nature, of course. Join the Mythic Market team physically preparing... The Mythic Market Team's Workout Inspiration. Another day of big sales and the number, unfortunately there's still time to get your piece. So it's all, I mean, it's like a used car dealer. And here they have an image of Thanos 
and the uh, investment opportunity dissolving. So that is their Facebook. Let's see their Twitter. Um, oh, they uh, retweeted Lewis Scott Vargas. Legends and Antiquities are the real VIP boosters. And I opened these plus more in the video. It's very fun. Uh, they have very low engagement for someone who's trying to raise money. There's not many reshares or likes. And this is Twitter, for goodness sake. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, here's Revelant Lights Alter. Okay. So let's click on their Instagram. I'm driving more traffic. So their Instagram is 1550 because they just post the same artwork. Hype beast. What the blanks? Hype beast. Take my money. Um, yeah, okay. So let me um, go over why this is not a good idea. Uh, it's not a good idea because there's no way to get your money out. It reminds me of like a vacation share. Have you guys heard of this vacation share? Like you go to Disney or you go to Las Vegas and they're supposedly going to give you a free vacation just like they're going to give you a free altar card, right? And then you go there and they pitch you for eight hours, maybe 12 hours to buy it. Oh, not call it a vacation. It's timeshare. It's a timeshare. And then you own the property, but you only own like a few days of it. And you have to schedule way in advance. The reason they get you is they uh, you pay maintenance fees on the property. A lot of maintenance fees a single month. That's how they get you. They get you under maintenance fees. You can watch the Dave Ramsey's video about it. He has a really good video about this. I'm pretty sure that this is kind of the same deal. That the way that they're going to get you is... Because, again, they have to make money. So the item is priced above market place, right? So if you had $90,000, you could buy a Black Lotus Alpha that's way better looking than that one with better grades. And you could buy those five booster boxes for $55,000. They're not even good. It's like the dark. Like, what? <laughs> like, why have that? That's like totally not a booster box. You know, I actually bought a Legends box the other day. It's Italian, of course, but whatever. It's pretty cool. It's cool to own it, but it's not cool to own part of it. Just like the shared vacation or the timeshare. Those things are absolute scams. And this business model is kind of similar to a timeshare, right? Except that you don't actually get to uh, hold. So it's actually much worse than timeshare. It's like owning a timeshare and not being able to use it but you still have to pay for it. That sucks. That definitely sucks. And as soon as these guys grow any bigger, they're going to be sued in oblivion, I feel. Important note, there's currently no public trading market for our interest and an active market may not develop or be sustained. There's no guarantee that appropriate regulatory approval to permit such secondary trading will ever be obtained so how furthermore the allocation to this asset subclass may be best fulfilled through a balanced portfolio of different startups investments in startups are highly illiquid and those investors cannot hold an investment for the long term at least five to seven years should not invest holy blank this is terrible so your best case scenario is you got to hold it for five to seven years and then you still might not be able to sell it. This doesn't make any sense. Like, what do you own? You don't own anything. So, like, what, what's the point? This is a really interesting marketing exercise. I guess it, it's a marketing exercise. If Chapman can convince people to give him $10,000, why can't... And he didn't even have a website. And he didn't have... LSV or Channel Fireball to promote his uh, product. Why can't this website sell you a Black Lotus for ninety thousand dollars? Why can't this website sell you, you know, four mythic or five boxes for what was it again? Fifty five thousand dollars. Dude, dude, those boxes suck. Let me let me learn more. Okay, so it is Antiquities Revised. Legends, the Dark, and the Fallen Empires. Holy blank. 
Numero uno, I do not want to invest in Fallen Empires. Numero dos, I do not want to invest in the Dark. The other two are okay. Source, Private Collector. USA. <laughs> Come on, jeez. Like, we don't even know who owns this. Like, wouldn't it be kind of funny if um, no one owned this? It was just, like, fake. I think that would be kind of funny, right? Craziness. $55,000 for what? For fallen... I mean... This picture is probably not... Is this picture even real? Because, like, it says source, and then it says private collector. So you don't even know, like, where these cards are located. I mean, it just says Private Collector USA. Hi, guys. Oh, well, okay, you know, you get a personalized stock certificate. If you buy five or more shares, you get the exclusive pin, collectible pin. And if you buy 20 or more shares, you get a custom binder. Wow. Hi, guys.